can we learn from Engageo, like uh, people who are selling to enterprises? Can you share some best practices, some tips or any trends on what you're seeing that's working very well? Yeah, totally. So um, one thing that we're, we're seeing a lot of success with is just like, we, we call it, um, you know, multiplay orchestration. So it's just the idea that you have, you know, you have people on your side and you have people on the other side, it's coordinating those interactions. So, um, you know, marketing is looking at, uh, all right, what's, what's one account that we really want to go after, or maybe sales is actually looking at the one account that we really want to go after, um, at Engageo marketing sets up, uh, we call it an ABM stand up or a sales and marketing stand up. And it's like, all right, let me get our pod together. So we have one-to-one, -one, uh, AEDR account development rep to AE. And, um, and then the marketer, they go in there, they strategize what, uh, what's happening at this account. What's the orchestrated play that we can launch to go break into that account. So they'll do some research, they'll create a campaign. And then it could be for an example, maybe, uh, one that we recently did. Um, there was a, a CMO at a company on her profile, uh, social profiles. It says she really likes chocolate and wine. So we sent her. Um, a, a package that says with Cadbury uh, chocolate and a bottle of wine that says Cadbury and wine for uh, five minutes of your time. So, so she took the the uh, uh, the meeting, and then with Engageo, we automatically are going to look at uh, fields in your Salesforce, and we can update fields, we can update data across your system. So then we automatically took that person out of our LinkedIn advertising our top of funnel campaign and then automatically drop them into our mid funnel campaign. She was, so she's not seeing uh, ads anymore that are like, Hey, take a meeting with us. Cause she already took the meeting. Right. Um, and then as soon as that launched, or as soon as uh, she was added to that campaign, um, then we can do other things again, like change data values or notify anyone at the account, or maybe it's notified the ADR that they need to do something. So it's, it's really piecing these things together and really, honestly, it's balancing automation and personalization. So I think there are things that uh, computers and technology and software are way better at than humans. And it's stuff like, the, the tedious updating of data and remembering to do these certain things all the time. But there's some things that humans are going to be better at than technology. And that's the, the human side of sales, right? That's building the relationship, building the rapport. So at Engageo, we're leveraging the right time, uh, the, the right technology at the right time to do those things like remove people from campaigns, or remember to send the follow-up email or anything like that. Um, and then bringing the human in the right time. So, um, you know, we're, we're just seeing a lot of success with these longer coordinated plays. Um, it is a little bit more time to set up in the beginning um, and making sure all of your data is talking to each other, right? Um, and, you know, when this happens, this next thing happens. Um, you know, for example, we have, like I said, we have these top of funnel campaigns uh, for LinkedIn. If they convert on one of those campaigns um, and it's someone within our target account and it's a key persona, I can actually automatically launch an outreach sequence or sales loft or, you know, whatever sales engagement tool that you're using. Let me make that easy. So my rep doesn't have to go in there and look at all the reports and figure out what's happening and then go in there and, you know, add them to an outreach sequence. It automatically happens. So it's really balancing the technology and the, the human side of sales.